Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today I've got a video of myself hitting the mastery dog tags with the Bulldog Assault Rifle Day 1 of Dragon's Teeth DLC. Reason for doing this is that one, I wanted the Bulldog Assault Rifle, I wanted the unlocks for it, and also getting 500 kills with this weapon meant that I was going to have to play a lot of Dragon's Teeth today, and that would really get me very familiar with all the maps right off the bat and uh, all the game modes, see how they worked out, and familiarize myself with them for all future endeavors. Now to unlock the Bulldog Assault Rifle, the first thing you're going to need is obviously the Dragon's Teeth DLC. You're going to at least need to play one round on the Dragon's Teeth map. You're going to need to be rank 10 and uh, you're going to need to get 10 kills of support enemies. You're going to need to kill 10 engineers and 10 recons while playing the assault class. All things considered, this is a pretty easy assignment and I have a feeling a lot of people are going to hit this just by playing the game naturally without even thinking about going for the unlock. Once you get the weapon unlocked, you're going to get the red dot sight at 10 kills and you're going to get an ergo grip at 30 kills. This is a great way to start using the weapon. You also get a muzzle break at 40 kills if you're having trouble controlling the vertical recoil, which is pretty intense with this weapon. I suggest slapping it on there. At 70 kills, you have the option to use the angled foregrip which can be a really great way to two and three round burst some opponents and still get some good accurate shots since this does do 34 damage maximum it's going to be a three shot kill and at range of four shot kill so it's going to give you some very enticing abilities at range provided that you can control that recoil now you got to wait all the way until you get 150 kills with this gun before you get the stubby grip and that is a fun way to run this gun as well and beyond that you're going to need some battle packs to get your preferred sights. Unfortunately, I didn't get the Coyote Red Dot sight until I was somewhere around 400 or more kills with that. And then I got the Cobra sight even later. So it can take a while before you get your ideal optic with this weapon. Luckily, you do get that red dot sight early on, which is certainly adequate, but not my ideal sight. Now, I have already reviewed the Bulldog Assault Rifle in CTE. None of the stats really seem to have changed over to vanilla version of the game. So I'll give you a quick rundown on it, and then we'll go talk about some of the new game modes in Dragon's Teeth. So basically, the Bulldog is one of the highest damaging guns in the game. It has a 700 round per minute rate of fire with a huge damage model of 34 damage maximum. So it's really going to be out damaging any of your super high damaging weapons out there like a FAMAS or a CZ-3A1. Where's the drawback with this weapon? Well it's got tricky to control recoil, a small magazine of only 20 rounds, and on top of that you have a pretty long reload, 2.5 seconds for the short reload which you're rarely going to hit because of the extremely small magazine with this gun, and then you have 3.2 seconds for the long reload. This makes it very tricky to use in close quarter situations, and especially on these new Dragon's Teeth maps, that's pretty much what you're going to be hitting a lot. You're going to see a lot of enemies, there's going to be a lot of uh, teammates following up the guys that you kill initially, so you're going to have to be on your toes ready to switch to your sidearm very quickly to deal with them because uh, you really can't go through more than two enemies with one magazine. I think I got one triple kill with one mag and that was it for the Bulldog. So two people is the maximum generally speaking and beyond that you're going to need to reload or switch to the sidearm at which point you're usually at a disadvantage against any enemy that's on their toes and knows what's going on. Now for getting the solo kill in medium to close range the Bulldog is pretty much much unrivaled. It's an absolute beast. But for getting those multi kills, that's where the Bulldog requires a lot of finesse. And I think it's going to frustrate a lot of novice players out there. This is not an easy gun to use despite its very impressive damage stats. You're going to really need to be on your toes to survive beyond one kill with this gun. I recommend getting a very powerful sidearm when using this weapon early on. Maybe the shorty shotgun, maybe a G18, maybe the Deagle, whichever of those sidearms you are most proficient with pick that and use it frequently because that reload time I've been killed so many times trying to get this gun reloaded in time and it just hardly ever works out so use your sidearm to get those follow-up kills and get good with it now as far as the maps and game modes that I was playing on I tried to mix it up quite a bit I did a little bit of rush I did some obliteration definitely did some more chain link and I also tried out the maps on team deathmatch now I've always had a soft spot for TDM battlefield 3 it was one of my go-to game modes I love team deathmatch 
uh, on so many different maps. It just really played out well. The spawns uh, were good, not necessarily from the very beginning of the game, but they got fixed and they played out really well. Battlefield 4, on the other hand, I have not really enjoyed Team Deathmatch overall. But I will say that the new propaganda map on Team Deathmatch is possibly one of the best TDM maps I have played in any Battlefield game to date. It offers close range gameplay, long range gameplay, it's got a train that runs through it randomly, which is going to give you a lot of really entertaining kills mid firefight. And there's plenty of buildings to blow up and make holes in the wall and flank around and storm the enemy. Absolutely excellent map if you haven't enjoyed TDM so far in Battlefield 4. Try out TDM on Propaganda, it will blow you away. It is awesome. That being said, I also think Dragon's Teeth has two of the worst TDM maps ever in a Battlefield game. The first one is Sunken Dragon, just abysmal spawn points and horrible balance. One team gets the entire Sunken Dragon uh, restaurant and hotel, and the other team basically spawns in the middle of the river with very limited cover. It's so amazingly unbalanced, I'm not really sure how they decided that this was going to be a good way to play out this map. The other bad TDM map is Lumpini Gardens. The spawns in that are just atrocious. You spawn way out in the open with no cover, and you can basically be in a situation where there's like six, seven guys lining site waiting for you to spawn that are just gonna mow you down and this is spawning in your deployment I don't know how they messed up the spawn so bad and here we go I get the bulldog mastery dog tag day one which was kind of a cool accomplishment for me personally and uh, I certainly got some of those kills while playing Lumpini Garden on TDM. It would be great if the devs actually look back at some of the spawn locations. I think a lot of these maps have great potential, but they just don't have good spawn placement. And this was something that Battlefield 3 did early on, is they looked at the spawn locations and fixed it up and actually fixed a lot of the problematic TDM maps. And here we are on Propaganda TDM. This this map, the way it plays, really makes me want to buy a server and just play this game mode 24-7. Now I'm going to get a cool little kill coming up here in a second. I kind of peek out, look for the enemies, reload my grenade launcher, and check it. I'm watching the mini-map, I see this guy on the outside, blow up in that wall, get the kill, and then rush through. It's kind of a mad dash here, not the most tactical uh, approach, but I just really like getting kills through walls, especially when it's something that I'm just watching the minimap as opposed to see somebody run behind a corner. So anyway, that wraps it up for my Bulldog Mastery video. I've actually really been enjoying Dragon's Teeth. I know I've been a bit critical of some of the new game modes like Chain Link and stuff like that, but I can't deny that they are a bit of fun to play and the maps themselves really lend to good infantry action. So as always guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. This is Level Cap, signing off.